Hello everyone and welcome to how to add mods to Minecraft. The Minecraft modding community have made mods that truly excel at making the game 100% better. Whether it be mods that make the game look pretty, or replay mods to allow you to make fancy shots like these, or utility mods that help you understand the mod pack that you're working with better, or maybe even simple mods like storage ones. There are tons of mods out there, and don't worry, if you're new, this guide is going to help you understand them. Where to find Minecraft mods? Admittedly, there are a few different places that you can get mods from, but in my humble opinion, I think the best place is CurseForge, and you can head straight to this link in order to find every type of mod you could imagine. On top of that, they have a great system for locating the mods specifically that you want. Downloading Mods for Minecraft If you're unfamiliar with how to download mods for Minecraft, it can be a daunting process. But let's just use the search tab first and look up Mouse Tweaks, because this is the one we'll be using as the example. Once you're in the area for mouse tweaks, you can see a lot of information all at once, and maybe you don't understand what to look for. Well, head to the Files tab. Then, in the Recent Files section underneath it, select View All on the right-hand side. From here, you'll be able to locate every game version that you need with the drop-down bar on the side. For me, I like the Forge version of 1.18.2, so that's the example I'll be using today. Select that, and click the download button next to actions in order to download the version that you need. Installing mods on the server. To do this, you're first going to want to make sure your server is set for the Forge version that you're working with. Right now, I have mine set for Forge, true, but the version is not correct. So I need to head down to the left-hand side and click the switch game button. From here, what you're going to do is click the reinstall button if this is your same problem, or the install button and locate the version that you want. Once again, I'm using 1.18.2 today as the example. Once you've selected that, you're going to click the install or reinstall button. After the reinstall process is complete, you're going to stop your server. After that process is complete, the server will say server stopped, and you're going to scroll down to the file browser section under tools. Select it. In the new page that pops up, select Minecraft Other Packs, and then select the Mods folder. In this folder, you'll see nothing if you've added no mods before, and what you're going to want to select is the Upload File button. Add the file that you've recently downloaded, again in this case, Mouse Tweaks, and after just a couple of seconds, you'll see that it is installed properly onto the server. There is one last step though, you need to head back into your dashboard and select the Start Server button because you can't really play on a server if it's not launched. Once the pop-up appears, you're going to double down on the Start button and wait for it to load. How to install client-side mods. What you'll want to do is Google Forge in the game version that you're using. Once the page pops up, once you find it, select the latest installer for that version. After the installer process is launched, in your download section, go ahead and run that file. After just a few moments, you'll see a pop-up and you're gonna wanna install it on the client side. After just a few moments of that, it'll be installed. Then in your Minecraft launcher, you'll see that Forge is what is installed instead of just the latest release. From here, you're going to want to go into the installation section at the top and underneath that Forge section, on the right-hand side, click the folder in the highlighted area. A new page will appear and in the mods section, you're going to click and drag the mod, mouse tweaks in this case, into this folder. From here, this will install the mod of your choice into the game version of your choice. So mouse tweaks 1.18.2 meet Forge 1.18.2. After clicking play, you may get a pop-up. Don't worry, it won't harm your computer, and just click play. Once in-game, you'll see the mods tab, and upon clicking on it, you'll see the mod that you've properly added. You can do things similar to this with mod packs, but it is a bit more challenging to do a mod pack solely on the client side. There are ways to go about it, but I recommend the most using the CurseForge app, as this will do pretty much everything that you need for you. The only thing that you need to do is find the mod pack that you want to use and download it. 
There's a great tutorial on how to do exactly this on our website, so I definitely recommend going and checking that out if you want to familiarize yourself with the CurseForge launcher. I definitely recommend it. Common issues. There are a number of common issues that you can run into, and for the most part, they can be grouped together as essentially preventing the game from running. For example, this one is the Forge error you'll see when the Forge version does not match the mod version. There are also errors where if you have a duplicate mod, which is seen on the left-hand side here, it'll also prevent the game from running. On the right-hand side, similarly, some mods need dependencies, like Mousy's Mobs and Gecko Forge. Conclusion. Well, that just about covers everything that you need to know about mods and how to install them onto your client and server side. With your new knowledge, hopefully you will have a lot of fun with the modded version of Minecraft, not just vanilla. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and ringing the notification bell. That way we know this is the content you like to see. Until next time. Huh.